Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here with the continuation of our Call of the Sea 100% walkthrough where I take you through the entire game, show you all of the puzzle solutions as well as all of the collectibles. This is chapter two where there are three achievements at least that we'll be unlocking. One is for completing the chapter. We'll also have an achievement for finding the secret object. There is a miscellaneous task we'll need to do. We also should unlock an achievement for getting 25% of the story logs and we'll also make a little bit of progress towards a new collectible type called the mural. So as soon as we start, what we'll do is we'll interact with all of the tiki monuments. Each one is corresponding with a specific animal sign or icon. And there is like a turtle, octopus, a shark, and some kind of bat. So that's kind of the first thing we'll do. Uh, and this is gonna be needed for us to obviously do some of the puzzles. Additionally, it's very important that you grab all of the same little documents and interact with all of the same little items that I do. So in one of the huts, there were a couple pieces of paper and pictures and whatnot. So make sure you're interacting with everything that I interact with and getting that same little uh, journal icon in the top right corner when you do stuff. This just lets you know that you're for sure getting progress with everything that you do. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Also, at this point, what we're going to do is kind of head to the back and we'll notice a couple more huts with our last tiki. There's also a little bit of a monument stone which we'll want to read and that will trigger a small piece of dialogue and we'll want to make sure we also see the other one kind of from the back side so just make sure you're following every single item i'm looking at grabbing interacting with every time you see some subtitles at the bottom of the screen make sure you're seeing the same stuff that i see if he'd known this was going to happen he'd never have come here what a delicate piece of craftsmanship They use the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. Once we kind of grab and interact with both of those stones, we can now head across the area from this path. And there will be a large kind of uphill climb on this path. And at the very end, you'll find another building. Here we can interact with a stone and then there will be a small puzzle, which is a bunch of pieces of paper that are ripped up and you just have to put them back together. And this will let you know the order at which the tiki's have to be entered so you can complete the puzzle. It's being ripped out of something else. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information.
Now that we have the pieces of paper brought together, this will give us a solution to the puzzle. Make sure you actually put the pieces of paper together as this will cause something to be written in your journal. So you can't just skip all of the solutions and input the answers. You actually have to get the solutions in the game for it to recognize the 100%. After that, make sure you go across the small walkboard and go and interact with the telescope to see the boat. Then what we can do is head back to the totem, the tiki, and look at our journal, find out the solution, and arrange them in order. Now, the order that we're going to want to put them in from the top is turtle, shark, bat, then octopus, and this will open up a secret door for us. The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. The secret compartment. Once the secret compartment is opened up, make sure you head inside. Make sure you grab the stone off the desk. This is a really important part. But also while you're here, make sure you interact with everything in this room just to make sure we fill up our journal entries and get all the story logs that are possible. There's a bunch of little knickknacks around the room and that stone is required for a puzzle solution coming up pretty soon anyways. Additionally, the secret object for this chapter is located in this room and it is this photo located at the back behind this kind of feather mask on a stand. So when we do interact with that, we'll actually unlock an achievement for it. We can now head back down with our newly acquired stone to the beginning area, place the stone into the ground and this will start the elevator for us. Once you activate the elevator, take a ride to the top and this will give you access to a new area we haven't been to before. And as soon as we get to the top, we're going to want to explore the hut on the right hand side to make sure we grab all of the little items inside so that we can get that 100% that we are planning to by the end of the walkthrough. Black ooze again. Skin alterations. Like... like the ones on my hands. Those spots look all too familiar. Is this a picture of my hand? Cripes! This man was splashed with that black liquid. Whoever took this picture must have a really cool head. Ugh, I can't stand the smell. After you complete that, what we'll do is we'll continue working on the light emitter puzzle. So go down into this large pit using the kind of rope ladder. And once we reach the bottom, we'll be able to poke our eyes through these little holes and we'll get these designs inside of black spots on eyes. And we're basically gonna be using these patterns as the solution to the light emitter machine. And we'll be able to use all of this to solve all the puzzles. So make sure you're looking through all the same holes as me and then we will figure this out together. You'll notice that only three of the eyes are leaking sludge, and these are the three most important eyes to us for the solution. So these are the three we're going to luck through. Another eye. Ah, uh, I hear whispering. With that completed, we can head down the tunnel that is connected to this sludge room. And we should unlock the 25% of all story logs achievement if you've been following along exactly. 
If you don't unlock it, you probably missed something, but that's okay. You can mop it up through chapter select once you complete this chapter or once you complete the entire game. Then we can actually observe the side walls as we pass through, so make sure you do that, and then we can move on a little bit. Of course, don't forget to interact with all of the little documents in this room so we can make sure to get that 100%. You were close to something here, Harry. Let me see if I can solve it. Well, this looks like another job by Handyman Harry. Maybe he heard the whispers too. Well, that was easy. This should save some time. Now, what we just did was we opened up a shortcut. That shortcut led us to a ladder, and then that ladder led us back to where we came from. And we're actually going to unlock one of the missable achievements because we don't actually have to do what we're about to do, but we're going to because obviously we like achievements. So we're going to actually head down the ramp and back towards the elevator instead of going into that hut and finishing off the puzzle. When we get to the elevator, we'll actually see a little bit of a Easter egg of sorts, and you'll find the logo of the publisher, Raw Fury, on the elevator. Now, if you go up to it and stare at it for a couple of seconds, interact with it, you should unlock an achievement just for doing that. That is missable, and I think that one's gonna be rare for a pretty long time, unless this video really takes off. Now what we can do is head back up that steep ramp to where we came from. This will lead us back to that little tiki hut where we can input the solutions to the uh, light emitter machine. The solution are the eyeball patterns from the sludge room earlier. So head towards the kind of room here, head towards the box, and then what we're gonna do is interact with the box and we're gonna line up the lines based on what we found earlier. The reason we're doing this is to get a specific pattern onto the lens. And then once we have this specific pattern on the lens, we can take that lens to the telescope. So we're basically just trying to produce one lens with all three of the patterns on it from the eyes we saw earlier. I think I solved it. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. It fits. You can now take this lens and go towards the telescope, look through it, you'll get a little bit of a flashback, but more importantly, you will get the constellation. And this is important because this will be a solution to one of the puzzles that we need to basically finish off this chapter. So this is the constellation and we can now solve the button puzzle by just reproducing the constellation starting from the sun button. So I'm gonna go do that now by heading down the ladder and back towards that sludge room. Now here's where we actually have to enter that constellation into the floor buttons. It can be a little bit hard to get disoriented and not know exactly which direction what's facing. So feel free to just follow the video if you wanna be exact and uh, make sure you don't make any mistakes. But it isn't too bad uh, to be honest, as long as you're starting from the right direction. 
And you can also take a look at your notes and make sure you have all of the same little logs and notes that I have just to be certain that everything's working as planned. I can press these star-shaped tiles. Now, upon completing this puzzle, a small pedestal will raise from the ground. You can go up to it and click the button. It will lock you in and the hole will fill with sludge. This will complete chapter two for us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for chapter three, four, five and six. I hope it was helpful enough that you leave a like and consider subscribing for future content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon and a special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show.